Hello and welcome to Dario Comics and today we talk about Kargi's Working Heroes in Space. This was my first comic collaboration uh, with Hudson from the Buff Dudes and I had worked a couple of things um, with the Buff Dudes. Um, I will link down below in the description my first thing I drew for an animated series and then as time went on we did uh, a lot of projects together uh, mostly for their fitness books they had some small booklets and always barbarians and 80s and 90s reference uh, for building muscle but Hudson is also or was or still is passionate about working heroes in space people who work for cargo hauling and as you can see this ones are the sketches and the cover I made uh, digitally so I will show you in a second and it's like the, f the comic should be displaying a guy and he's in deep space and I assure you the pages um, I don't know when did I draw this 2018 for 2018 this was the best I could do and even if the colors look uh, a bit bland right now colored they look awesome I assure you that and I will show you that soon uh, in the next video I will show you a screen capture from the colored files or I will print this once uh, as a test print so we can enjoy the comic as a whole and so the comic starts in deep space and a guy is opening himself up a drink because his cargo holder, which is uh, pretty trashy, is, is, is just eating comets and asteroids and he cannot maneuver. And at that time I was uh, seeing a band or I saw a band which was called Giant Giant Sand. I will link them also down below. And an old fella uh, named Hal Gelb was the singer. And so I, I pictured this singer because he made Trucker Rock um, to sit in this cargo hauler in space. And yeah, and this guy is opening himself up a drink. He's taking a look at this retro VCR and it puts in uh, a cassette yes they have cassettes in space and then I hope the glare from the from the is not too hard but I don't want to take out the paper from the piece and so he puts it in and he plays it and uh, Veronica he says play it Veronica and Veronica is this uh, I don't know what you call it but as you can see we have Chinese we have English and the recruitment aid is for exclusive use and he will play something and then uh, on his uh, computer he has uh, from Kirsty come back anytime and as you, I, I, I show you the inks because like maybe it's interesting and colored it looks so much better but this is this is raw here this I stole from Mike Mignola and from Anata Never. Um, don't worry, I fixed this in Photoshop then I redrew them. And this is the cargo hauler as it floats through space. Cargis. Hudson White writer, Dario Donato artist. And yeah, and then he starts uh looking at this uh training video and he remembers the times careers in cargo hauling this is like uh, a commercial video how, how good this work is and exploring new territories and he's just 
sitting in this trashy floating thing and taking a drink again the drawings are not the best this is like 2018 but it was page after page after page like Hudson sent me um, his script and he told me what he wanted to see and I made layouts and then I went into the page and did the best I could um, I know these are not holding up to some real comic pages but you gotta start somewhere so don't get discouraged work the pages you will get better and then every time you draw something you can always go back to fundamentals and do things better like that's okay making mistakes is okay um, and don't bash your old drawings just do it and then this guy named Cut Russell like he presents like oh man this is so great we're in space we're not the military but we're much cooler we are like cargis um, and if this sounds good we're looking for you you could be managing a ship like this and my name is Cut Russell and I'm a cargi <laughs> and he says cheers uh, but some drawings are really cool and again colored I will show you in the next video or in the next couple of videos it will look awesome and this I guess I, I, I took young Ethan Hawke as a reference for this Cod Russell and so he remembers when he first got introduced to this and he met Cod Russell and and they walked uh, on the planet and he showed him everything and or no I guess wait a second he plays he plays in this um, commercial for for cargis and so we see the the cargo hauling planet and if you see wonky drawings I hopefully fix them uh, in the final version after scanning it in Photoshop and then we see this cargo planet and it's called Big Mother yeah it's called Big Mother like this is cool it's named Big Mother sometimes referenced as the cargo planet Big Mother re resides in the outskirts of space and acts as a shipment hub for transporting and then he asks questions and he answers him and so he says oh you can join today risk s risk safety and sanity to help modern living uh, to help make modern living that much more convenient and you have here this guy is a techno viking and you have Ripley and these are all common people who signed up to be cargo hauling things and you have also an uh, android or robot from the series 9 this I stole from KKND the game where you have the robots and mutants and the human survivors and he says howdy <laughs> and then they lean over and yeah that's so great to 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 be in the cargo hauling uh, career yeah and he looks back but he looks also back in uh, here I forgot the H but I put it in later I wrote it here because like then I can just space this out and put it in um, and then he asks the guy and yeah I was doing page after page and this was really pushing me like again not the best drawings but I was I was just pushed to produce the pages um, because also um, Hudson was paying me and so this was my first real paid comic gig for America yeah and I had fun but I was it was also like like you had to deliver you wanted to deliver good stuff and this hand is a solid hand this snap is a solid snap because like he says wait can I be a cargi and he says yes you can and boom he gets his attire and this attire colored is really cool because it has like the typical um, cargi attire um, and the colors of this team and then wait a second I've heard Kyrgyz have a certain reputation uh, no shit and then he remembers back uh, like this is this is when when he was young and this he is now 
and again not the best drawings but i kind of like the flavor it's pretty pretty cool so, and you see <laughs> there's a lot of pages and yeah then he talks about the baggage and then he talks about the virtues and and he says yeah cargis have have to have perfect hygiene and he is not so perfect and he needs and he says yeah they have to eat uh, perfect uh, diets and he's just eating beer from this automation and has a beer gut Up some pretty solid drawings because right here i wasn't really I, I was laying it out beneath that is all blue pencil but at a certain point you get a feeling and then this panel is pretty cool because like and helping to keep corpies occupied on those lonely f uh, hauling trips and then this guy uh like a true cowboy is just reading a book while he our new recruit is getting along with this uh, robot chick I don't know where did I steal her I guess she's from Mot Metropolis and Daft Punk <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes in uh, it's a very very comic but uh, he tries to explain um, that Cargis um, they're mining the whole thing and so they find uh, alien creatures and i love how he hunches down like with his massive body and his real fat chin again not the best drawings but i think i have some energy going here and then he says not an actual life form and but he remembers uh, alien life form friendly alien life forms what about the black day at big black rock and he remembers when the roaches uh, melted some of his friends or the carnage at Calimel Pitch and when they shrunk his friend and I guess just stepped over the guy or the ride on black hole brick and I'm really really happy how this this ones turned out like he remembers and then he's in shock and in terror and here it's a bit bloody but it's comic bloody I'm not all into the gore fest shit I'm I just like it to keep it to keep it grim but also funny and as you can see a lot of pages and yeah it's pretty cool I don't know do we have to make part one and part two or do we go through this okay we, we keep it one clean video and then he shows the new ship but he doesn't get a, sh a cool ship like this he gets like a real trash can <laughs> as you can see shit is just uh, patched up with some gaffer tape and just floating and yeah he doesn't even give a shit anymore because shit is so bad like this is this is real apathy and i i love like stuff fits together and then he gets the keys for his ship and as you can see he gets a beautiful millennium falcon and he catches it and then yeah here we closed then issue one but we had only uh like 11 page pages and then here it stops with him not getting out or just floating around and then we s we 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 started working on the on the next part of the comic and as you can see a bit of time has passed and the a bit of time has passed for me so the drawings are getting much better now but also how do i say like yeah, the drawings are better and I have some new found motivation and yeah we I, I amped it up a bit and he's he's um, afraid of deep black dementia and the sirens are calling him from outer space and they want him oh ranger sweetheart it's a lonely step outside ranger honey join us and he's afraid to death because you don't want to die just in 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 the in the deep black 
and then he sits down and he thinks about his uh, his grandparents. This one's uh, clearly uh, the Irishman, Sean Connery, and this guy. This was his grandpa. This was his father. His brothers, like some real redneck roughnecks and cool people. And yeah, he remembers that only Cargis could survive the sands of Caligon or outwit a giant, a moon sized Cargi killer. Like, this is some, I don't know what it is, maybe a pirate ship or something. And this Cargis just put themselves into asteroids and hide them. Clearly, a reference to Star Wars. And then look at this, like, uh, I'm starting to drawing better, like volume can and is quality at certain times, and this is uh, a behelit from from Berserk and a space rat, and of course, uh, Cut Russell's father, a hero, and then something starts to suck the ship's energy so he's going down there to see what it is and he's trying to follow the energy signatures and he climbs down the ladder and he doesn't know what he's going to encounter because it shows uh, a secret life form and he says the hand flame I will do the job if it's alive if it bleeds, I can roast it. Of course, this is a reference to Aliens, to Cowboy Bebop, the the episode with a little space lobster, and this is uh, from 40k. I mean, everybody needs a hand flamer, and this this is called this is from Alien from uh, let's see from Simonson's Alien. And then the cargo inner hatch opened. Beep, beep. And then he approaches, of course, the fridge. And then he remembers that in the fridge he had put... Oh my god. Thank god for cold fusion. And this I stole from StarCraft 1. They have a cold fusion generator. They want to blow up a Zerg spaceship. And that's all full with beer, and so I stole it. Here that's a ketchup uh, bottle and some celery. The rest is all beer. I myself don't drink alcohol because I think it's good to stay strong, but if you want, well, you're doing it anyways, but yeah. And then he thinks life support or ice cold beer. And then he plops it. Well, sometimes you gotta pull the plug on bad habits. Yes, yeah, some, 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 and it goes on. So you see, this is, is uh, it took me a while, but I was working, I don't know, weeks on this, and not everything looks good. Sometimes I'm trying to cut a corner. Some panels are just better than others. Some things like this is pretty cool, where you have just shadows and a bit of space. Here's thinking... Um, I if he's ever gonna get out of this alive, like it's just a struggle with his ship and then he thinks, oh man, wouldn't it be sweet to just have a drink and a lady and come back and yeah, you know this girl from the X-Men and yeah, he's enjoying himself with some ladies and this is a cool panel. And then he goes through his tapes and finds a very, very disturbing tape that he once had bought. And ooh, get that out. And then he puts in a classic. And then we start to go back into space western and he's always drinking and then he thinks about the times where the west the wild space west was filled with uh, with people with honor and yeah and uh, this guy looks different than in the final version but when i was working on, on this i didn't have the the final 
um, sketches and layouts on the teleforce that's like the space mutants or a different race. And so these are the natives and these are the settlers, but the natives are also lawless or I don't know really but I don't want to call the natives but yeah you know it's mutants versus humans and then he doesn't want to go and then the telephones fill your hands prove your hand draw your gun and he runs for the gun and gets shot in the back coward coward yeah and this looks painted really good I will show you soon and then the family comes out, not my best panel, but I tried. So in the future I will do much better. And then the telephor approaches again and wants to finish off the family and take the house and then the the hero of the of the West comes out and he says, just warming up my pistol before I'm taking you out. And then we see the porch and the lady and this guy passes uh, through them and really cool panels here and then we see him approach this saves time and looks also cool try to master this like it makes for a good page and this I've stolen from 300 like there's a King Leonidas where he shows with his fingers so you are next and yeah and then we see the show off oh man this is going to be a long video but it's a cool comic um uh, maybe I should have made part one and part two, but okay. And then they f ha they have a face off and then he draws and shoots the mutant in thousand pieces. Again I'm not into gore and grit, but this is like fun gritty, like you can see here a bone and look like the how the bone looks like and here pieces flying away and bullets coming towards us and the guy screaming no while his uh, head is flying from <laughs> the torso and then the guy has, the little guy says mister you killed him dead you go and tend to your pa son whoa you ain't no comb puncher that's for sure because like these are farmers and then he says mister Mister, just what do they call you? They call me Kargi, damn straight. Yeah, and then he passes out for a while while the ship is flying and then is intercepted by something. And these guys are pretty cool. There are some Soviet space bikers, I guess, and they want to hijack this guy. And they say, we're Comet, the coalition of men ending tyranny. 